Today I want to take a look at the Yelp app and you're seeing a live view of my iPhone right now. I was using the app recently and I noticed it has some nice animations, some screens that look pretty nice and the photo viewer in particular, which is what we're looking at here, it has this nice blur effect. So you see the same photo that you're looking at is kind of scaled up and blurred in the background, which creates a nice backdrop for the photo. But when you swipe between the photos, it has this really harsh seam from one photo to the next. And I feel like that could be addressed in a nicer way. This seems to me like the kind of thing where you design a single screen and that screen looks really nice, but you haven't considered the interaction. You haven't considered the animations or how things move. And so a developer who builds this would reasonably build it the way it is here, but nobody realizes until it's maybe too late that this effect could be improved you know, when you're in between photos. And that's exactly the kind of thing that Flinto for Mac is for. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of one of these photos and I'm gonna use that to recreate this UI. And I'll just set it up so I can swipe between a couple photos and see if uh, I can come up with a way to improve this effect of swiping between the photos. And you can just imagine if you design this UI in Flinto, uh, you design the interaction, then when it's time to share it with somebody, with a developer, you would, have, you would have already caught and addressed any potential issues like this kind of harsh line that appears before it's too late. All right, so I'm starting out in Sketch and I'm playing this back at 300% while I recreate this Yelp screen inside of Sketch. After I finish this screen, I'm gonna import it into Flinto and then it'll be playing at uh, regular speed. So I'm just uh, putting the image in, duplicated the image and made a blurred version of in the background. I'm making the header, adding a shadow to the photo. And then here I'm working on the footer, adding that gradient that kind of fades to black at the bottom. Putting in the horizontal rule and some text layers. Now when I make the second version of this screen, the one that I'll uh, animate to or swipe to, I'll remove some of these text layers because that's how the interaction was that I showed on device. Now I'm just finishing up the header with uh, the appropriate size text. And now I'm going through and renaming a lot of the layers because it's a lot easier to work in Flinto if I've got correct layer names and some nice grouping of my layers. Okay, so I'll just duplicate that one and replace the photos, replace some of the text and just update it so that it looks a little bit different. And like I said, I'm deleting some of the layers in the footer and there we go. Now I'm inside of Flinto. I ran the sketch plugin to import the screens and we can start prototyping this. Okay, so I'm setting up a link from the photo to the other screen and I'm gonna use the left swipe gesture. Here in the transition designer, the transition I've got by default is basically what Yelp had. So I'm just gonna set a backlink on the other screen and open the preview. And so we can see already, this is essentially what the Yelp app showed which has that seam in the middle that I don't really like. I'll go back into the transition designer and I'm gonna align the screens by clicking the align screens checkbox. Then what I'll do is I'll fade out the background on the end screen so that during the transition it fades in. Then I'm gonna slide the photo on the end screen over, toggle to the end and slide the photo on the start screen over to the other side. Then I'm gonna drag the two backgrounds down to the bottom of the layer list, so they're out of the way. I'm gonna hide the header background layer so that it's, uh, since there's one of those on either screen, so I only need one, otherwise it covers some stuff up. And something similar with the footer, this fade layer, I'm gonna hide that because it's just covering over the fade layer on the start screen. Now these other layers in the footer, I'm gonna have those fade out so that the uh, footer layers basically do a crossfade. In the Yelp app, they kind of instantly switched, but I'd like them to crossfade. And you can also notice that there's a gap between the photos. When one photo slides off, there's some space between it and the screen. That means they're not gonna be touching each other during the transition. And now I'm finishing up the header so that the title from one screen to the other also does a crossfade. I think in the uh, actual app, it just switched instantly at the end of the transition. But I think that looks much nicer if it does a smooth crossfade. And uh, maybe it'll look even better if I slide uh, the label over to the right and then on the 
Start screen slide it over to the left so that it finishes over there, and then the labels move along with the photos. So you can already see this is starting to look a lot more polished. So I'll open the preview, and now I can swipe back and forth and test it out. So you can see the background does a really nice fade. It doesn't have that harsh line. It just crossfades one blur into the other, which looks kind of beautiful. Then the footer text, those, those text layers crossfade from one to the other, looks much nicer. And also as I'm swiping back and forth, you can see the gap between the photos, which I think looks a lot nicer. And the header also animates the, uh, the title inside of the header, um, animates back and forth with the photos as you swipe. So I think this just demonstrates how you can use Flinto to prototype the interaction of something like this really easily, where you might get stuck if you just design a static screen and show that to a developer. Using this, you can figure out those potential problems, come up with solutions to them, and it's gonna be a lot better process working with your developer.